Howard's presence when he returned to the CEO role simply reinvigorated the company. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 companies that came back from the dead. I can't help but notice as soon as you walk in the store, Apple's like right there. Yeah. You, can't, you can't miss it. That's so right. For this list, we'll be looking at organizations and companies that went from practical bankruptcy to back in business. What do you think of these dramatic comebacks? Are there any we missed? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Six Flags. There's a time for work, and there's a time for play. Six Flags, it's playtime. It turns out those Six Flags should have been red flags to investors. The ambitious Premier Parks bought Six Flags theme parks in 1998 and spent countless amounts trying to set itself up for success. But by 2004, the debt it had accumulated forced it to start making changes and selling assets. The company's cash flow drastically decreased, with the 2007-8 financial crisis being the final nail in the coffin. The company filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in 2009. After some reshuffling and renegotiations, the company emerged from bankruptcy in 2010 and started theme park projects overseas. Shares reached an all-time high of $72.76 on June 20th, 2018, up dramatically from the $9.75 reached on May 11th, 2010 when the company had commenced trading again. However, with more debt problems and the pandemic, it appears the company is still struggling. Number nine, Delta Airlines. The ability to do it and the willingness to try. When you love to fly, it shows. Delta. Delta Airlines is a staple of American air travel, but it nearly went bankrupt after the horrific tragedy of September 11th. The low-cost competition began to dominate an already suffering industry as people were too scared to fly. An entire restructuring of the company was initiated, changing flight operations, eliminating a lot of former routes, and cutting jobs. But that wasn't enough, so salaries began taking cuts. Employees from the ground to the CEO took significant pay cuts to keep them afloat. We made a commitment to the employees then that at that point, once we became profitable, 15% of the 15%. profits would go back right. to the people which we honor to this day. U.S. Airways proposed a substantial amount for a potential takeover, but Delta rallied the troops and proposed a bankruptcy plan, which was approved in 2007. In 2008, they merged with Northwest Airlines, having weathered the storm. Number 8. Jack in the Box No one wants to have a bad meal, but imagine after eating at a place, you got infected with E. coli. Jack in the Box was involved in an outbreak of the bacteria in the United States, with some cases having deadly consequences. It was one of the worst food poisoning outbreaks in U.S. history. Contaminated meat at Jack in the Box restaurants killed four children and alerted the country to the hidden dangers in our food. The chain was forced to settle several lawsuits, nearly bankrupting them after losing most of their customers. Something like this you would be lucky to come back from which, surprisingly, Jack in the Box did. Oh, I beat it, clown! Listen, punk, I spent millions of dollars improving my kitchens to make our best burgers ever! After ensuring all their locations worked well within food safety standards, the company reintroduced their old mascot with multiple campaigns. They reinvigorated the brand, bringing them back from the brink. Hi. Ah, yes, we are. Number 7. Hostess. Hey! Where's the cream filling? The collapse of this company is a tale of greed. Old HB Inc. was a goliath of the baking industry, but it wanted to have a near monopoly. In 1995, it began several huge acquisitions of its competitors, buying up numerous famous brands. But it appears its eyes were a bit bigger than its wallet. After the various buyouts and mergers, the quality of its product declined. The company filed for bankruptcy in 2004, was bought over, restructured, and filed for bankruptcy again in 2012, where the vast amount of brands were divided up over several companies. At this point, the only option is to wind down the business. The new Hostess Brands in 2013 has been a lot more focused and still produces Twinkies to this day. This bakery has been a long-time fixture in the community, and the new owners have put a lot of investment back in, and it now employs over 500 people. Number 6. Nintendo. Nintendo has repeatedly dominated the video game industry, making it seemingly invincible. No one else creates this kind of experience because no one else creates these kind of
kinds of games. But all it took was one lousy console to nearly take it down. Wii owners and newcomers alike, it's time to play Wii U. Off the back of the very successful Wii and Nintendo DS systems, the company released its least successful console in 2012, the Wii U. The company's now late CEO, Satoru Iwata, took a 50% pay cut to stay afloat, while other executives' pay was reduced by 20 to 30%. They also reached several agreements for IPs to appear at amusement parks, release the NES Classic Edition, and apps for smart devices, including Pokemon Go. This provided enough cash flow to develop the incredibly successful Nintendo Switch, saving the company without having to fire a soul. Get cozy with the ones you love. Expand your horizons. And before long, you'll feel right at home. Now let's have some fun. Nintendo Switch. Number 5. Chrysler. People buy one, they like it. They come back for more. Despite not being the biggest on the market, Chrysler was an essential part of American vehicle production. But it ran into trouble in the 1970s. Struggling to adapt to changing consumer tastes and increased oil prices, the company lacks the cash resources to match increased competition and transportation standards. Moreover, with reliability problems popping up in recent models, the company was on the brink. Chrysler was not able to weather well the oil shocks and certainly the dramatic financial requirement changes of the automobile industry in the 1970s. They'd lost track of themselves and their market, and by the late 1970s were brought to the brink of insolvency. CEO Lee Iacocca saved the day in 1979, securing $1.5 billion from the government and attaining an additional $2 billion from other sources following massive restructuring. As part of that effort, he agreed to take a personal salary of just $1 a year. However, the fragile company would later file bankruptcy during the late 2000s financial crisis, later being bailed out to remain active. Number 4. Starbucks Aggressive expansion from 2005 to 8 put the company in a difficult position during the financial crisis. In late 2007, the company's value plummeted by almost 50% as the markets reacted to the weakening brands and the beginning of a global recession. Starbucks' stock price was in freefall and their brand had gone off the boil. Eliminating nearly a thousand stores internationally and exponentially more jobs, the company needed to do something, and quickly cue the return of CEO Howard Schultz. Even Chairman Howard Schultz agrees that Starbucks' problems are self-induced and the company hadn't introduced many exciting products lately. After reducing his salary alongside massive cutbacks, Schultz forced the company to re-examine. He brought together all the store managers at company expense, was completely transparent with them, and attempted to retrain their staff in the art of making coffee. A month after his return, Schultz ordered Starbucks to close all of its U.S. locations for one afternoon, so he could retrain more than 135,000 baristas about how to make its signature espresso. Schultz's goal was to remind customers what they loved about the brand. They were reportedly seven months from insolvency, but Schultz reinvigorated them to regain what the shops had lost, the Starbucks experience, and it worked. Starbucks consolidated itself and returned to active growth only a few years later. それはやっぱハードのような強いリーダーシップ、もちろんね、彼ではできないことだと思いますけどね。それが本当に無事回復スターバックスしていったわけですよね。Number 3. Lego as Lego's generic building blocks slowly decreased in sales, the company needed to start thinking of new ways to generate income. Video games were becoming much more popular at the time. You had a lot more engagement in digital media in the form of things like cable television and so forth. There was technology that was being incorporated into toys, things like Furby. Kids didn't seem to have the time or interest for Legos. In 1999, the company made its first jump into brand collaboration, beginning with Star Wars. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to offset the overall bad sales, the company nearing bankruptcy in 2003. Lego got back to basics, building back its core customers while licensing other movies. For the longest time, toys and video games had been battling for the attention of younger audiences, but Lego saw an opportunity for an amalgamation. 
In 2005, the company released LEGO Star Wars. Its sales became an instant hit, providing huge game sales and promoting its building sets. After that, the company moved on to new brand deals and opened the door to a new age of LEGO. What did the company learn from its mistakes? Well, exactly what we've been leveraging the last 10 years, and as you alluded to, we've now had the 10th consecutive years of growth uh, in the US, and part of that success comes from actually really understanding the needs of, of children. Number two, Marvel Comics. Marvel was in bad shape in 1994. The pain is excruciating. After sporting some of the greatest comic heroes and talent the industry had ever known, several of their most prized artists left to form Image Comics. This, coupled with a disastrous period in comic sales, led to the company filing Chapter 11 in 1996. Years of bad investments and bad decisions, coupled with the big hit from the comic bubble burst, finally caught up to the company. It was now or never, so Marvel was forced to sell off the rights to some of its most iconic heroes. <laughs> but it turned out it was just what the company needed. Movie series such as Blade, X-Men and Spider-Man brought new life into the company. Along with some successful comic releases, Marvel was back with the MCU on the horizon. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Toys R Us. Bankruptcy reveals there was still a market to take advantage of. Now prioritizing experiencing the toys in store as part of the sell. Esbaro. The decline of mall food courts forced the company to reinvent itself. Best Buy. Scandals and reduced revenue led to a customer experience transformation. We turned the company around and the way we did it was by refocusing on the customer. First we took price off the table, our prices are now competitive, we batch internet prices and then we invested in the customer experience. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Apple. In 1985, co-founder of Apple Steve Jobs was ousted from his own company, and another co-founder Steve Wozniak left over disagreements of the company's direction. Apple produced many iffy machines over the next few years, failing to innovate, resulting in drastic financial losses. The Apple brand has clearly suffered from neglect and we need to bring it back. Reportedly weeks from bankruptcy, the company brought Jobs back and purchased his company next in 1997 as their last hope. Jobs became interim CEO, wholly restructured the product line and did the unthinkable, partnered with the company's biggest competitor, Microsoft. And I'd like to uh, announce one of our first partnerships today, a very, very meaningful one, and that is one with Microsoft. Gaining a $150 million investment, the company introduced the Apple Store, released the widely successful iMac, and created the iPod. There it is, right there. The comeback was so dramatic that the story has been chronicled multiple times. I still believe I'm right, and I'm right. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.